Hey everyone, today we're going to be working on the 10th problem of the CSCS introductory problem set and this problem is called trailing zeros. So our task is to calculate the number of trailing zeros in the factorial, factorial and factorial. And okay, uh, so for example 20 factorial has four trailing zeros so we have an input within uh, 10 to the 9th and then we just have to output the number of zeros. So if we're doing zeros, at the, or at least trailing zeros, one of the most important things to realize is that every one of these represents a factor of 10 in 20 factorial. And every, 20 fact, and every 10 is made up of a 5 and a 2. And since there are way more 2s than 5s in 20 factorial, for example, 8 has 3 2s because it's 2 to the power 3rd, and 25 is 5 two fives because it's five squared uh, we just need to find the number of factors of five because for every factor of five there is at least one two there's actually around three because of two and four but those might be just another thing or no it's just that there are way more twos than fives so we just need to count the number of fives and the easiest way to count the number of fives is well let's look so say we have 35 factorial. 35 has seven fives, but it also has one 25. And since the 25 is already counted in the fives, this is actually not a double count. It's actually a single count for everything. In addition, say if we had a 125, which is the next power of five, it wouldn't be double counted in any of these because we're own because this one has three fives, this one has two, and this one has one. So a two minus one is one, three minus one minus one. Each one of these counts it only once. And since we have zero, it doesn't matter. So thirty-five actually has eight trailing zeros. Now, an easy way to get the number of twenty-fives after the number of fives, obviously we just take n and integer divide it by five to get the number of fives. What we can do to get this number, the number of 25s, is divide the number of 5s, integer divide the number of 5s as well. So see, as you can see, 7 integer divided by 5 is uh, 1, and 1 integer divided by 5 is 0. So we can keep going until it equals 0. So let's code this up. So let's make the directory called uh, directory 10 railing trailing zeros and then let's make the file new uh, use code template and call it main and then let's go down and since our sample sizes are small we don't need to worry about all this so let's take an LLN or we have an LLN and then we just see and and then uh, we should actually have uh, num as a variable too, and this equals zero. And then we can just do a while and does not equal zero. Uh, num plus equals n over five. And then actually we can do n and then n integer divide by five. And then we just see out num. Okay, so let's test this out. Uh, we build it and then we have let's say 35 which we know the answer is going to be 8 and we get 8 so now let's just submit it um, submit uh, drag across main.cpp submit it and then now it gets accepted so that's going to be it for another episode of the CSCS Beginner Introduction Problem Set. If you'd like to see more, like, subscribe, and if you have a better solution, comment down below. I may make a video on it. See ya.
So let's take an LLN, or we have an LLN, and then we just see, and and then uh, we should actually have uh, num as a variable too, and this equals zero, and then. We can just do a while n does not equal zero uh, num plus equals n over five and then actually we can do n and then n integer divide by five and then we just see out num okay so let's test this out uh, we build it and then we have let's say 35, which we know the answer is going to be 8, and we get 8. So now let's just submit it. Um, submit. Uh, drag across main.cpp, submit it, and then now it gets accepted. So that's going to be it for another episode of the CSCS beginner introduction problem set. If you'd like to see more, like, subscribe, and if you have a better solution, comment down below. I may make a video on it. See ya.